Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to schedule backup job for MariaDB or MySQL by using cron tab. In the previous videos, what we have done, we have created the, the script how to take the backups of single or multiple databases, but we never scheduled. So here we are going to go ahead and schedule those backups. Backup. So what we will do, we will go to the cron tab in etc and then we have to put an entry there. So if you notice here what we have, we have minutes, hours, day, months and week. Weekends, uh, weekdays. So you have to provide all that information on which time you would like to run your command and then finally you have a command that you would like to run. In uh, uh, the field value and description you see that I have minute 0 to 59 that's uh, what we can provide and description the exact minute that the command sequence executes. Then you can put hours the format is 0 to 23 then you have day then month and weekday 0 to 6 and then finally you have a command that you can provide wider. If you uh, see our uh, sample script uh, here, what I'm saying uh, for minutes, uh, hours, days, and uh, then uh, weekdays or month or whatever. So all five of uh, these uh, values, I'm putting asterisk. That means run for every minute so that means uh, the first asterisk and all these when you put this asterisk it means run this every minute okay then command is root mysql dump dash u provide the username so in our case it's going to be root provide the password okay then you provide the database name and the greater than sign provide the directory in which you would like to take the backup and the database name then i'm adding data to it uh, and the uh, time to it. So you can see that uh, we have a date format and then we have a time dot SQL. So uh, in this case, uh, I took an example say, okay, if we have database uh, called ABC and then we would like to take the backup in MySQL uh, backup uh, directory, then uh, this is how our cron tab entry is going to look like. Uh, uh, if you would like to change it uh, uh, to different uh, schedule, you can, you know, uh, like in my case, I'm just doing it for one minute so I can demo it. But you can also change to five minute or just specific uh, day uh, or specific uh, hour of the day. So you can do that. Uh, let's go to the party and take a look uh, how we can schedule it and just to run a demo here. So first of all, uh, uh, let me go to the etc and in the etc we have cron tab so cat cron tab uh, and you can see that uh, I have one entry there that uh, but I have put a, a hash sign uh, first here so it is disabled so you can see the same entry uh, I have but I have asterisk divided by two that means I'm running every two minutes so, so if I want to run every five minutes so asterisk divided by five that's how I will do it uh, but the rest of the entries are asterisk so root my dump uh, my sql dump dash u username password abc and then i have the directory where i would like to put and all that so let's go ahead and enable it so we'll do sudo vim etc we are already there so cron tab now this uh, file will open taken some time okay finally it is open so hit escape then hit enter so we are in the insert mode and uh, here we are going to remove this uh, hash and also we are going to remove this uh, kind of di uh, backslash uh, slash do two that means every two minutes so i left it uh, every one minute uh, now we can go back and see that this is how the entry is going to look. If you want to put another entry, you can always just copy paste and just change a parameter such as the password or username or directory or database name. In my case, I'm taking the backup of the database and I said backup uh, here abc underscore date time. So um, I have all these scripts already. I have shown you on the blog. So the description will have the link for the blog and you can take from there. So I'm going to go ahead and say um, escape uh, colon wq uh, and explanation mark. So now if we'll go to the mysql backup and uh, here we do clear first ls so you see that uh, the different backups has been uh, created. Uh, these backups were already created. Uh, so if you see that uh, uh, the time is 1128 and all that um, if we will run it again one more time so still okay we want to give it another second so we will see 
okay so you can see that uh, now the new backup is created if you want to see further take a look like what is the size and all those kind of things you can uh, check ls minus a or you can do uh, du minus ach so that will tell you the size of the each of the file in mb okay great so we notice that uh, it is going to run every minute for now but in case uh, let's say you would like to run at 8 a.m so what you would like to do you are going to go ahead and cat etc cron tab uh, not cat here you will do sudo vim so use any um, editor in my case i'm using vi cron tab okay here uh, if i would like to do every day at uh, eight o'clock so that's our and uh, i will just go ahead and say uh, hit uh, escape hit i and then uh, press eight here so and remove this asterisk so you see that i would like today run at eight o'clock so if uh, i would like to run uh, uh, maybe uh, day and all that you can see from here minutes uh, so you can see the format here minutes 0 to 59 and if you want to run at 8 30 so what you're going to do here you're going to go and provide 30 here something like that so you can change uh, your uh, um, um, schedule whatever you like so um, uh, I, I will just just play with it in my case uh, what i did uh, if i was running s slash 2 so if uh, uh, somehow that uh, um, yeah so if uh, you want to run it every five minutes you're gonna go ahead and do this so something like that so play with it uh, just uh, see uh, different values and uh, I hope uh, you will be able to schedule your backups uh, and uh, uh, every day or every month whatever you needed uh, the same way you can run other commands from the Chrome tab uh, uh, if you like uh, but this is uh, it for now and I will see you guys in the next video